Yo, what is up guys? My name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover Shop where I sell editing presets and clothing for creators. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to create faceless or B-roll content for your Instagram. And these posts are really, really easy to make. And believe it or not, these Instagram videos have actually helped my Instagram grow a ton these past couple months because it's just a very easy piece of content to pump out. So that helps with consistency, but also it helps educate your audience a bit more than an actual video. So I'm gonna show you guys how I created this reel on screen right now. So let's go ahead and just start from complete scratch. Let's go ahead and import our footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my desktop, which is where the video is, import it. There we go. Perfect. Drag and drop it down right here like so. I'm gonna go ahead and just unlink the uh, the audio. So control or command L and then just delete. And then you have this video clip. For some people, you guys' cameras already kind of have like the data to where you don't have to go ahead and mess with these transform tools. But if it's looking like this, you have to like rotate it and stuff. So you go over to scale, 50, you go to rotation, depending on which way. For me, it's negative 90, because it goes that way. If it's positive 90, it goes that way. Um, just a good thing to know. Right here, just a clip of me genuinely just looking around, setting up my stuff before I actually start recording. So let's go ahead and just cut it up. For me, I kind of want it to be a really quick pace, a little shot of me walking towards it, a little shot of me going over here, doing that. Just go random cuts, just make it look and then just do a wider one, getting ready again, and then me actually talking, let that sit, maybe cut again, and then go like that. And it honestly just depends on like what type of video you're trying to make. You genuinely don't have to pay too much attention other than the fact maybe like keep in mind where a drop point's gonna be. So let's go ahead and mark it right now, like where the drop point's gonna be. Um, for me, I'm actually gonna place it right here at this cut. So that's gonna be where the sort of text changes and also where the beat drops. So it's right here. I'd recommend keeping these videos about five, six seconds long, not too, too long. Just keep them very, very simple. So just quick cut, quick cut, quick cut, cut. Now, honestly, you could start throwing on text and then calling it a day, but I wanna go ahead and color grade this footage. So I'm gonna go over here into my takeover presets. Um, you guys can import your own LUT. I'm just gonna go ahead and import my own LUT into this video. Sweet, looks good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple changes. So it's a little dark, so I'll just turn the exposure up a tad, turn the highlights down a little bit, and then honestly, I think that looks pretty clean. Maybe cool it off a little bit. Yeah, I kinda like, I've been liking the blue, blue tone, so I think that actually looks pretty fire. We'll run with it. And um, quick tip, when you go ahead and color grade your videos, go to the source tab right here, and then this is where you wanna throw your like blue color, because it'll, kind of affect the source rather than just this specific little clip, which is dope, meaning it applies to all of these cuts. Whereas if we didn't, then it wouldn't apply to those cuts. You'd have to go copy paste the entry for all of these clips down here. Just a little bit of sauce right there. Next step, what we're gonna go ahead and do, I want like a slight camera movement. So let's go ahead and add a slight camera movement. Add a new item, adjustment layer, hit okay, drag and drop it into the timeline, fit it to the thing. And I just wanted to like do a slight zoom the entire time. So let's go ahead and type in transform, pull this up, sick. And then go to scale because we want to zoom in, uh, start the keyframe at the front and go to like 107, 108, 110, whatever. And drag it to the end and just see what that looks like. It's a super subtle zoom in, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So that is perfect. Next step will be adding your text. For your text, I'm gonna do like a POV sort of style video like you guys saw in the intro. So I'm honestly just gonna copy the text that I have over here. So let's go ahead and type in POV. There's really no right way to do this, um, which is great because you get to place it just wherever it kind of fits the best. So I'm just gonna type it in. I'm gonna select it all, go to central graphics. Um, I'm gonna just gonna make this pretty big. Make this bold. That looks good, center it, center it, center it, center it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more text. So the way you actually add this, um, you could go ahead and just do another text layer, but I'm just gonna duplicate this. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and write what I want. So I'm just gonna say build a personal brand for tutorial sake. Uh, select all using command A or control A and then just bring this down, the font size, bring this down. So for me, what I like to do is this font, Montserrat, whatever, um, it comes with different like sort of 
font styles. So I like to just make the entire thing medium and then highlight the keywords and then make them super bold. So it kind of gives you that effect, which to me actually looks really, really good. Um, just so that way your viewer's eyes go to that specific part and play it. And it looks freaking sick. Um, let's go ahead and add the camera movement on top of the text so the text moves with the camera. Sick. So this is the camera movement. We had it below, we just moved the text below it. Um, just reiterating what I did. So that way the text moves with it. It almost looks like it's 3D tracked, which looks freaking killer. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate these two layers, allow for two video tracks. If you don't have a video track available, just go ahead over here, right click, add track, and we'll add a track. The way you duplicate it, select it, hold option, drag, keep holding option, and then you let go with your mouse pointer, and then it'll place it. And I'm gonna add a glow. So you guys wanna go to effects. I'm gonna go back to my takeover uh, preset pack, which if you guys haven't copped it, honestly, it's freaking killer. Um, I'm gonna go over here, go to, where is it? Glowing text, add to duplicate. Go ahead, and then you see that little glow, it looks freaking killer. And then that's honestly pretty much the entire process. What you guys can go ahead and do now is add your transition overlays, which I actually paid for mine. Um, shout out Creative Ryan, his things are really, really great. Actually, I'm gonna just do like a flare burn overlay, just like that, drag and drop it. Exactly where the base hits at this cut, kind of just place it right in the middle, select it, um, go to blend mode. You can either do screen, which makes it look like that, like that. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of that. Let me go ahead and rotate it real quick though. Um, maybe 50% because it's a 4K. So it'll look like this, um, which looks pretty decent. Uh, I don't hate it. But what I really like to do is go ahead and add difference and it kind of met plays with like the uh, the values, the color values, I guess. So it looks sick. So we're gonna run it like that. You guys can go ahead and find the transition overlays on YouTube for free. Just type in film burn overlay. So that's killer. I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this one. Uh, option, hold it down, drag dropping, same thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead, add the half over it, cut the first half, keep the second half, and then I'm gonna keep the first half over here. So that way it's just like a perfect transition loop. You see how that was like a perfect loop? Sick. So now that we have our drop, let's go ahead and find our audio. And the way you guys can find audio is by scrolling through Instagram, saving audios, or you guys can go ahead and just go on YouTube, type in trending audio. And then once you find the audio, download the MP3 and then just import it. Before we continue on with this tutorial, I just wanna let you guys know that the Viral Hooks editing pack is out now. If you've ever struggled with short form content, chances are it's because of the hook. And I get it. I've literally edited close to 500 plus short form pieces of content. And only now have I decided to just automate that entire process. So what's in the pack? You get 10 hooks already made for you. So literally all you have to do is just drag and drop the template, replace the text, replace the icon, and you're good to go. It comes to six plus text styles, which are pretty much just popular text styles that a lot of the bigger guys use. So if you wanna save time editing and save yourself the time of content ideating for a hook, this is the pack for you. It genuinely saves me so, so much time. I genuinely used to spend 25 minutes, but now it's a three minute process to create hooks, meaning I can create more content in less time. And for you as an editor, that means you can create more content, less time, which means you can make more money. So go ahead, check it out. Link will be down in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and import a recent uh, audio that I had saved. <laughs> So we'll use this one, import. And then the way that I do it, to just match it on cut very, very easily, is I go to exactly where this drop is, so. Hit, it dropped right there, so I'm just gonna go pause it, hit I as like endpoint, and then set your add point to like somewhere over there. And then just line up your endpoint to this marker, drag it over here, and then cut the excess by hitting C. And then you have the audio. So that's pretty killer. And then the uh, last thing for the actual drop, typically what you wanna do when the drop hits is add more text. So let's say we're doing a mini chat automation, duplicate the text layer below, create it at this cut. I'm gonna go ahead and just go to essential graphics tab to edit my text, slide this down and I'll just do comments, brand for access. <laughs> 
Sweet, so that's exactly how you guys create faceless content. And again, there's really no right way to do it. Just find a format of other people's and then just save it and then just recreate it on your own. Anyways, guys, hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. If you guys have any more suggestions on tutorials that you guys wanna see, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.